Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Breakfast Show. The time of the week where you get to see our beautiful and handsome faces. We're here on this Saturday morning to spice up your money, you know, to give you entertainment, pure gist, pure vibes, and you know, what else? Everything, just <laughs> everything, but just choke, you know. <laughs> so yeah, my name is Andre, and I'm here with the crew, you know. Yeah, so hello guys, my name is David. You can call me Mr. D or the Smiling D. And it's, you know, interesting to be here again. Uh, <laughs> Good morning, lovelies. My name is Rashida Bada, a.k.a. She Flows, and everything she flows like glassy eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So today, guys, we have, like, an amazing, interesting episode for you guys. Like, movies, we're talking about fashion, like everything, what Trending we usually topics, do, exactly, everything is on point. Yeah. yeah, what we usually do every day, but you know, it's always better, better every week, guys. But first of all, you know how it is now. It's culture for us to start with exercises, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, we have to you know, see you work out, you know, work out some fat, you know, you know stay fit because it's going to be a long run with us, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, stay with <laughs> us, guys. I hope you guys had, you know. I actually did a little bit of exercise in the studio. Yes, I stretched my arm, I stretched my leg. Yes, I jump up a little bit on my chair. So I feel good. <laughs> okay, I think today I just decided to be like, to be chilled. You know, usually I always join the exercise, but then I said, let me, you know, watch people do the exercise. Today. You know what the truth is? He actually ate about this morning, so he couldn't carry himself. <laughs> David is like Superman on the show, always the <laughs> Superman, but today he's like, nah, let Batman take this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> So yeah, guys, it's about time, yeah? It is what? Gist o'clock. Yeah, gist o'clock. <laughs> gist o'clock, guys. This is the time where we give you, you know, the spicy entertainment gist that happened all through the week, guys. So first today, we have Punky Akindele recounts saddest day of her life and how we almost ruined battle on Booker, Booker Street. Street. Imagine, can anybody ever imagine that she actually was going through a lot Why she actually filmed that part? Because it was, it was actually the market scene where everybody really loved because I haven't seen the movie but then I saw the thriller and then I really loved that market aspect and when she came out and said that, okay, did they actually film this particular, you know, yeah. scene? I wasn't, I was down, like that was actually the day that she has been ever down to the core in her entire life. I'm like, what? Honestly. It's actually the way that she actually pull herself together and still make sure to you know, do that part and still play the part really, really very well. Yeah, for some of us that don't know who Fuki Akidele is, she's a Nigerian actor, she's a veteran. Yeah, bets me, like she's the OG, like yeah. when, when he started, you know. So, yeah, yeah, she's a Nigerian actor, she's also a politician. Yes, yeah, she and is. She's like, she's been making waves, brought out so many actors, people idolize her. And for her to come out and say, in one of our biggest movies she's ever made, she broke down. 
That is, I, I, this is something to surprise us. And at the end of the day, it is the second highest grossing Nigeria movie. Yeah, just yeah. imagine. So, <laughs> the day that was supposed to be her most happiest day, you know, making mm -hmm. success and everything. Yeah, it was the last yeah. day of sin, if I, the last day of set, if yes, I remember. Yes, last day of set. Yeah, last yeah. Then set. it happened that, okay, something personal it's happened to her time. and she had to, you know, break down and pray. It was, when I read it, or when I heard about this, rather, it was really, 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 really disheartening, but it was kind of motivating because she dropped a motivation speech there yes, when she posted she it did. on IG. So and what do you feel about the whole thing? So, you know, for me, I just always, like, um, I used to feel very happy when I see that um, these um, people that we really do look up to are always, you know, they're always perfect at hiding their troubles, their worries, and yes, you know, giving exactly. us a very interesting show. Look at, you yeah. know, just look at what she did on the movie. Nobody and could ever tell. You understand? Yeah. Like, she was able to box in that challenge. She was able to box in that, um, you know, whatever she was going through then, and she gave us a perfect show. I'm just so happy that, you know, she did not let uh, trouble weigh her down. She did not let that, you know, that stuff get to her to the extent that the movie would have been, you know, because, you know, let's just assume that she had, you know, allowed that to weigh her down. Like, yeah. I don't yeah, think we would have that, you yeah. know, I don't think we would have that And the fact now. that she came out to, you know, tell us this stuff, it shows us that she's human. It, like, it gives us this connection yes. with the celebrities yes. that celebrities are actually human and they go through exactly. these stuff too. That mm -hmm. It's not really about the money and the success, but it's about how you keep going when you yeah. face these challenges. I like the fact that she actually, you know, shared this story. This is actually going to be like a motivation to us that yeah. we don't have to always be strong. It is okay to break down. She had yeah. a moment and she yeah, was able yeah. to, you know, come up and, you know, just cover up for herself. I mean, nobody could ever detect something like that happen to yeah, her. Yeah, nobody could have, And yes. I love the fact that, um, I call her Jennifer, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that she's always breaking her own record. Imagine, she actually broke her own record. I mean, she, like... Yeah, she broke her she, own she, record. She her movie that is too highest to cross in Nollywood movies. I mean, like, that is incredible. This is, this is mind-blowing. Yeah. For me, one thing I really like about Funke is the fact that she, you know, she puts every energy into yeah. promoting her movies. Yeah. Aside yeah. to the energy that she channels into you know filming and all of the stuff and she goes the extra mile to promote that movie to like make sure that the movie is everywhere the movie premiered in nigeria you know they actually um had the movie in cinemas abroad as well yes. so i just really yeah, love like i love really, i love really that cool. about okay so I really, I on really the video she that. posted on ig she captioned with motivating words she wrote no matter how much one gets beaten down in life one must always stay strong because exactly. like the quote above says we become the most vulnerable when we cover when we cower in fear when we give in our when we give in to our sadness it means we have allowed our weakness to overtake us and nothing can be achieved in life with this type of attitude wow. never be afraid to do mistakes never stay down when you fall make sure you rise and keep moving never be intimidated always exactly. believe in yourself and give no room to doubt words i mean <laughs> that is a whole that's lot very of words yeah. Yeah. <laughs> somebody very could have just read this stuff and be like I want, to, I, want to, I want to be the biggest hotel in Nigeria. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and you just be motivated and you just carry bricks. Just like, yeah. Carry bricks. It's the carry bricks for me. Like. The fact that now she's not really like, you know, sort of venturing into politics. I mean, she's contesting yeah, 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 for yeah. the deputy governor of the Lagos State. Of Lagos State. So I just like, okay, why you are, you know, being our deputy governor incoming, we don't know yet because the election hasn't taken place. Yeah. Is she going to still be acting movie? Because I definitely still want to yeah. see her on Jennifer's yeah, yeah, yeah. Diaries. She, I, I think she will. Even though on the it's going to be a busy life for yeah, her. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, very going busy. to be busy. Yeah, but she would because she's our mama now. You don't because you know? <laughs> according to one thing I saw on the media, I don't know if it's actually accurate, it said that she's actually going to be dropping movie while she's, you know, taking up the seats. If she wins, that's, well, that's, that's, that's she, cool. That she means. is a very strong woman, and I believe that she would be able to manage both roles. Yes, because honestly, I still want to keep looking forward to Jennifer's Diaries. I love those stories. <laughs> Jennifer's Diaries. That one was like the like I don't know the OG of the Nigerian oh, movies oh, oh. back it's then. No, it's actually not the OG. It's actually Sulia Konwaeto Rokon. I forgot. That, to that, that, that was actually what brought her to the limelight. Yes. I still remember. Uh -uh. Wow, you really, you really like go with her back yes, then. Yes, of You're course like, I do. Had fun and stuff. Mm -hmm, I am. Jennifer, reach out to Rashida, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably be a PA or something.